hello, hello, my beauties. Hello, beautiful people. Thank you all for tuning in today. My name is Veronica of Hair Prophecy Salon Suite, wig shop, and braiding classes. So before we get started, I, would you please do me a favor and like this video, share this video to your followers, and subscribe to this channel. I appreciate you watching with me today. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to do a simple feed in braid. Um, as you know, feed in braids can be small, medium, or large, but for demonstrative purposes, I'm going to do a medium size feed in braid. I went ahead and parted out the hair um, and I'm going to use some type of edge control. Some people use gel, just something that will slick the client's hair down. Now I've already parted out the first section that I'm going to be begin braiding using the client's hair only. I have separated about four pieces of braiding hair that I'm going to add in. And as you begin to braid, you continue to add in pieces of the client's hair to form a corn row. When you get to a stopping place, you use your braiding hair and you add it under the first finger and the middle finger, right in between the center of the first finger and the middle finger. And you twist the hair over and just continue braiding. Mm -hmm. And as you're adding the braiding hair in, make sure that it's a clean add. You don't want to see any humps or lumps as you continue to braid down. Just make sure that you're holding the hair tightly enough to uh, just make sure that the hair is not lumpy or bumpy. <music> Now, as you get down to the bottom of the braid, you want to make sure that the hair transitions smoothly as you begin to braid down the rest of the braid. Um, sometimes the hair starts to get thin and you have to go ahead and add in pieces of hair. And it's a little tricky, but you take your braiding hair and you hook it around your pinky, fold it around the braid, and then you grab it by your left hand fold it back over and then you just keep braiding down i'm gonna do it again so you can kind of watch my hands to see what i did grab the braiding hair hook it around your pinky fold it over Let it go on the right hand and grab it in the left hand and just kind of keep braiding on down. And you can always rewind and go back if you need to watch that part over. So here's the finished braid. Just so you can kind of see the little places. You see the dark hair where I added in the braiding hair. And so now I'm going to show you how to add in a small braid as well as a larger goddess braid or feed-in braid right next to it. And so I want to point out here that whenever you're parting uh, for the second braid, make sure that you part very close to the first braid um, to make sure that you have enough room in the nape of your neck for all of your cornrows when you're braiding from front to back. You have more hair across the front of your head than you do in the back of your head. So in the back of your head, you have to braid them closer together than in the front of your head. So just make sure that when you're parting out your second, third, and fourth, and so on braid, that you part them closer to the braid that's ahead of them so that you have enough room in the back of your head for all of your braids. When 
you get to this point, make sure you add in that small braid to the braid that you're doing now. So now that you're down to the end, make sure that you transition the braid without, again, any lumps or bumps. And now I'm going to show you how to extend the braid out. It starts to get thin towards the end, so you have to add more hair. This is another way to add hair. Um, just kind of tuck it under your finger and separate it into the three pieces that you already have. Well, it's going to be two pieces, but you just separate it into the two pieces and migrate it into the braid. I'll show you again. Tuck it under. Grab it with the other hand and just kind of migrate it in with the hair that you're already braiding. To make a knot, take a really small piece of the braiding hair, wrap it around the back of the braid, tuck it under through the hole and pull it through and just and pull it real tight. So then you have a little small knot. All right. Thank you guys for watching Feed in Braids. Up next, I'll be doing knotless braids, passion twists, single braids, all type of braids. To get a personal one-on-one -on -one braiding class, please go to my website at hairprophecy.com and register for a personal braiding class. That's hair, H-A-I-R-P-R-O-P-H-E-C-Y.com.